Mohammed, you were there. What happened? What, what your WrestleMania experience here? Oh God. Well, as you guys know, this is my first WrestleMania ever. It's uh, and cheap plug here. I wrote a blog about my first uh, my experience at uh, at WrestleMania 30 uh, on WordPress. Uh, I'm sure we can put some links out and you know do uh, that stuff. Or read my blog. You know. <laughs> um, I will say this: it's the first WrestleMania, first trip to the states, first you know a lot of things happening to me. And one uh, might be my highlight was actually I met The Undertaker at WrestleMania Axis that year. And uh, I got uh, I got him to sign I got him to sign the urn and not even not just sign the urn I got him to personalize the urn which I learned is a big deal because he usually does not personalize autographs he just you know signs the Undertaker and moves on. It's mm-hmm. um it's the amazing thing about going to your first WrestleMania now. This now, uh, like James's story, is when Axis has become more prominent, where they have, you know, this whole mm-hmm. thing about a WrestleMania week and people coming all over. So, so I got, like, my first taste, like, you know, the first thing that ever happens at, uh, during a WrestleMania week, usually, from the WWE side, is they have a free signing at the Superstore which is next to the access thing. So first 300 guys go in mm-hmm. there, you get a wristband that says you can go in and you get to meet a, you get to meet a wrestler. And and that's my first time like, you know, going in there and meeting because WWE was in Abu Dhabi for a while, but you know, you go you go there, you meet some people, they're casual fans. They're not Die hard wrestling fans as much as you are. Like even though they, the die hard wrestling fans are actually weird. So they're all like I remember I saw a couple of die hard wrestling fans. They were on the other side of the ring, so I couldn't you know foster a relationship <laughs> or anything like that. Uh, but the fact that you're in the you're standing in the line to meet a superstar, it's WrestleMania week, and you're talking to someone that you've never met before and you guys just start striking up conversations you know naturally because you both came like the first guy i met was from the uk uh shout out mr uh, shout out to chris barron um and we, and we connected instantly because it's both of us we had our we're having our first wrestlemania uh we're we're in here. We're we're folk, we're talking like about this stuff, and you met a lot of people, and you get to talk. And also, this WrestleMania had a lot of buzz about it because Punk was gone. You don't know what's going to happen with Daniel Bryan. That's the big, you know, question. No one is no one is even concerned about the Undertaker and the uh, Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. Like guys are talking. Yeah. Uh, like other people who are there are saying, "Well, you know, I gotta be. I don't know how long I'm gonna do, but I gotta be there when the streak ends." So like it's a given that the streak is not going to end on this WrestleMania. It's, mm-hmm. it's just we're going to be there. Uh, just a couple of uh, you know, it's just a couple of quick stories for Maxis. Uh, first off, uh, like I went into a random Maxis uh, into an Maxis uh, like I had to. Uh, I bought the you know the WrestleMania package, so I had two premier premier uh, WrestleMania tickets, which I chose for Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. And then I got a and then I bought another you know general entry ticket into I think night two of Axis. So now during that night while you're waiting to get into Axis, there are rumors going all around that the Wyatts are going to be there, and everyone's just buzzing. <laughs> it's like. Whoa, the whites are there. I gotta meet the whites. I gotta, you know, you gotta do this. People were actually had tickets for Ring of Honor and were looking to sell them in order to buy an access ticket just to get a chance to meet the whites. You know, you gotta understand that not everyone who's gonna go into the general entry is gonna meet the whites because they're gonna cut you off when they say, you know what, that's two hours worth, you're done. Mm -hmm. And. And so I go in and like they move from one place to another and 
if you guys know Axis, Axis is uh, like four hours long. And they have signings during those times. It's, uh, there are NXT matches going on. There's, uh, you know, there's the Hall of Fame display. There is stuff that you can do now they uh, once again they put the, they brought back where you can actually call a match with the WWE announcer there's the the video game tournaments a lot of shit a lot of shit goes on anyway but the signings are are segregated to 2 hours so the first 2 hours there's someone on the booth and then the next 2 hours there's someone else and why it's going to be the second half and no one knew uh, which booth they were going to do and then out comes the shield on one. There's two booths next to each other. The shield comes out on one of them. And the people who are on the other one cheer loudest because everyone... And they start to... Sh and they start to chant that we got Wyatt. <laughs> Everyone's happy about it. Turns out they didn't get the Wyatt. <laughs> but... I remember like standing there and then like I was hunting for the whites too honestly I'm not just gonna you know like look down on this I wanted to meet the, you know Bray White and the family and everything and I remember standing at one of them and then the guy who comes out is Mark Henry Mark Henry comes out and waves it to everyone huh a lot of us you know wave back at him the moment he turns his back to go back to sit on the seat everyone, <laughs> we boogie like everyone leaves and then the whites came out at one booth and you could just I always remind this that this is one of those zombie out outbreak uh, movies. The scene where, you know, you know the virus is in there and everyone just keeps running away from it. Except everyone was running towards where the Wyatts are. It's like total chaos all over the convention center. And thankfully, I got in. I got to meet the Wyatts. I got them to sign Bray Wyatt's hat, which is right here. Um, it's an awesome star. It's an awesome thing. The second star, I'm just going to say, meeting The Undertaker was probably one of the most surreal moments of my life and it's and it's honestly uh, one of the only times I remember my voice cracking <laughs> it's it's I remember we were standing in line and then I could uh, I, I look at the, the Undertaker's handler because they have someone who you know takes your stuff gives it to the guy to sign tells him uh, to move on and so forth and I see that's Tim White and I think whoa okay so no no one's saying hi to Tim White I don't I don't understand that I'm thinking well maybe people don't recognize him anyway I saw, you know what when I get up there I'm gonna say hi I'm gonna make it a point to say you know let him know that I know who this guy is and it sort of worked in my favor. I did, that was not the intention of it. I was just, you know, like I like uh, I liked him one, and I just wanted him to know that he's appreciated. So I like right. So he takes the guy in front of me to the Undertaker, comes back to me, turns around. He's like, you know, he's in the zone. He's working. He's like, eh, eh. his end into it, and he just turns to me and I say, "Mr. White, it's a play. It's it's an honor to meet you." And I shake his hand, and he like he gives me like this big smile, and says, "What are you having signed?" <laughs> And I give him the urn, and I say, can I in any way get him to personalize it? And he says, okay. Now, I don't know if me recognizing him had any part of that or not. <laughs> um, but anyway, he gives it to the Undertaker. And then he says, uh, he asks me, what's your name? I tell him Muhammad. So he says to the Undertaker, it's Muhammad. You know what? Come, spell your name to him. So my first interaction with you know my childhood hero the man the man i had the man i've you know dedicated my life to his fandom and so forth is me dictating my name to him <laughs> and i you know I, he goes at least you did it yeah yeah <laughs> so i'm he's got i'm going m-o-h-a-m-e-d he's and uh, that first towards he's, he said he looks at me e-d <laughs> I can't do the Undertaker voice because you know I'm getting I'm getting choked up just remembering that he's a ghost. Ed, I say yes, Ed, and I blurt out the most fanboyish rhetoric anyone could actually do. I was like, this is not how I imagined it going in my mind's eye. I was like, you know, like, oh, I came a long way. Where where did he come from? And uh, I like, I came from Egypt. I was gonna go into the, like, I came from the UE, but I'm Egyptian, and you know, but but then I was just like, you know, I was just. <laughs> cut through to the bone and I just said Egypt <laughs> and, and you, like, you okay Matt I, I, 
I get the same thing too. I get the first time judges. I, yeah. Once we have our fan for wrestling, yeah, I always the first one I meet in line, I always stumble. Yeah. Like when I met Jay Lethal, I had a nice conversation. He asked me my name twice to sign, and I just totally spaced. My wife like, you need to tell me your name. Oh, so, yeah, James. <laughs> 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 so I'm just like, it's Jay Lethal. Just like, hey, just yeah, you know, it's weird. like you're at manga. It's like this guy's talking. It's, and then I uh, like, I go, yeah. oh, you're the greatest of all time, sir. I came all this way just to see you. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he's cool hand Luke he's just like and uh, you know we, I do this awkward thing like uh, my first photo with him is not as good as my second photo with him because that time I figured out how you know to post the camera so I'm just kneeling and you know uh, Arabic culture we're big on handshakes so I like I gotta uh, like this photo has to be me shaking the undertaker's hand <laughs> and we do the whole clasping thing and I'm looking I'm looking at the camera over my shoulder like this <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. so it's like, like I look, you know, it's it's just you know, you see this blue thing which is my jacket, and my and my head's just popping out from over it, <laughs> and he just says thanks for making the trip and gives it to me, and I'm like, oh god, I just met the Undertaker. You know what? If I miss WrestleMania, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm still. <laughs> That's that was. Uh, I mean, like again, one of. You know, one of the greatest. Uh, okay, it, it kind of sounds silly, but meeting the Undertaker is one of the greatest moments of my life. I'm not there. I said it. It's yeah. No, that's great. Right mm-hmm. like there. Yeah. Yeah. Shawn Michaels was also very nice. Also, when another part. That's this. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And by the way, Paige. I also met her there during Axis. Nicest girl ever. Back. <laughs> Seriously. Like uh, she and Neville were doing the Neville, who's back now for you, all you AEW marks, uh, uh, were doing the signings, and Neville was like, and uh, Neville was like taking his time, you know, signing something for us. So I was like, you know, stuck right in front of Paige after we had done our thing. You know, she signed and we got the picture and everything, and she's like, I'm sorry, he takes forever. Which is, you know, it's still NXT Paige, so you, you know, it's out of character for the Paige, you know, afterwards. And I'm like, and I was like, I think I tried to sound cool. And I said, no, it's okay. I get to spend more time with you. Well, you're not doing anything, dude. You're just standing there. It's not like, it's not like he, though. You're whisking it off her feet or anything. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, also, uh, final thing about this accident on God Move On. Kane was doing this whole open uh, mic thing where he gets questions from the fans. And I actually got to ask him a question. And he got, he, and he, like, you know, they gave it, like, we got Muhammad from the thing. The thing is, I was alone at that axis. I wish I had someone to film me doing this. But, and I, and I asked him, who's the one superstar, like, past or present, like, that you think that would be your dream match? Who would you say? And he said, Andre the Giant. So, yeah, and compared it to the Big Show, because I've been in the ring with Big Show, seeing how awesome he was, I think Andre would be that much better. And, and you called him a mark, right? <laughs> no, they took the microphone away by that time, around that time. So I couldn't call him a mark even if I wanted. Exactly. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to call Kane a mark. All right, like, like, dude can set me on fire. I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? Because you, cause you're the master heater. That's all. I got no fear. Well, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't have the master heater gimmick back then. I was still a f- fresh cut baby yeah. face. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't turn heel until I think WrestleMania 33 or something. Ain't no Joe with no bomb. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the Alpha Mucho Driving. If you liked that video, please click like and subscribe to our channel for more content from the driving. For full episodes of our podcast, you may look us up on Anchor, Spotify, or wherever your favorite podcasts are available. Just search for Outlaw Much Show Driving. And if it's not too much trouble, would you help us out here? Spread the word, share. We would really appreciate it. Thank you. We love you. Bye.